Shalom and welcome to Simmons of Torah. This year is entitled Some of the Top Achievements of the IDF of Tzahal in 2017. In the article in the Jerusalem Post at the end of 2017, last day of the year, lists some of the top achievements of the IDF. And it's so important that we have a curse of Tov, the IDF, Tzahal, Tashem. Enemies are all around us like they've been forever from day one. The difference is that now, Baruch Hashem, when they attack us, we can defend ourselves against them. And there's so many achievements day to day. And to limit just uh, to a few is really limiting it. But we'll mention what the article says is some of the top achievements. Of course, every day, the boys are on the front lines defending us, protecting us, and always working on new ways to stop any attacks. But specifically, I'll mention a few. So we can really appreciate what we have. Sometimes we forget the brachot in front of our own eyes. So I'll list several over here. This says the idea's top five achievements in 17. I'll read a few of them. So right, the first Air Force. Israel became the first Air Force outside the United States to declare initial operational capability of its F-35 Adia stealth fighter jet in December. So we received the jets a year ago, the F-35s, and now they are fully operational. Officials provide complete air superiority in the region for the next 40 years. According to this analysis, we're going to have air superiority for almost half a century, the way things look right now. And it currently has nine F-35s, expected to receive a total of 50 by 2024. So the top fighter jets that we advance and we uh, may fit for the Israeli army. We'll have 50 of them within the next two decades. Another one is the Army's Naval Iron Dome, was declared operational by the IDF. Hezbollah has long-range missiles that can hit the gas the gas rigs that are offshore in the Mediterranean, and they, they could do it, they will do it. And Baruch Hashem, we have the Iron Dome in the sea, another incredible accomplishment. You have David Sling, and David Sling is the final piece of Israel's air defense shield, which is unbelievable because now it provides Israel with a comprehensive, protective umbrella able to counter threats posed by both short and mid-range missiles used by terror groups in Gaza and Hezbollah. Any missiles that come, we could protect ourselves and listen to this. To shoot down short-range rockets, our system which intercepts ballistic missiles outside of the Earth's atmosphere. So unfortunately, we have our enemies on with missiles all ranges, whether from Iran, from Hezbollah, from Gaza. And we have defense mechanisms, mechanisms, missiles that could shoot down any one of them from any range, the short, middle, and long range. Okay, and actually... The Israeli, in March, we were attacked, our jets were attacked by missiles from Syria, and they were intercepted. They were intercepted by the Arrow Missile Defense System. And finally, what everyone knew was an unofficial secret, became more official when one of the members of the IDF said that it's official, the uh, former Israeli Air Force said, officially, we've bombed Syria many, many times, a hundred strikes against targets in Syria over the last couple of years, which, of course, that could have led to major war, but Syria realized they just don't have the capacity to, to start out with us, and every time we see that they're building up their missiles and then trying to bring them over to Lebanon, we just attack them. So I have to appreciate all these the serious nefesh of every member of Tzahal that does so much to protect the country from the air, from the sea, from the land. And of course, I told that we could be living in a time where instead of just being slaughtered by the thousands or the millions, we could defend ourselves and do our best to remain alive and hold on to our land. Shalom.